Uh, my name is Jock Grintill, I'm the founder of Collection 26 Glasgow. Uh, so the kind of idea um, behind Collection 26 Glasgow is I was in uni in second year and um, everyone got told to sort of try to start a wee business or come up with a new idea and innovation and um, people were starting up apps and all sorts and it was all techy and digital. Um, I didn't really resonate with that at all. Um, as a kind of entrepreneur I felt that uh, I was a bit more better on the creative side so that's why I started putting a wee design on a t-shirt and um, just thought that'll do, that's the project, you know what I mean, sorted. When it came to sort of then developing the brand past that first design and into an actual collection, I knew that I was going to have to up my game in terms of the blanks I was using in the hoodies um, and get a bit more creative with my photography as well. So that's when I went from just having the one design I then got in contact with a few people and I made the dragon design eh, along with like, some other sort of Japanese um, inspired ideas eh, behind it but really it's that dragon design that stuck with the brand from then on. I got in touch with a proper photographer and eh, a proper sort of wee gang and we've got a proper shoot together um, and yeah it just took off from there. Um, it was just me, Scott and Hamza um, cutting about the uni taking photos and like these two new t-shirts, a new hoodie and eh, yeah, it just sort of rolled on for there. It's one of the first designs we did after the rose t-shirt. We did it in print because it was just a wee bit cheaper than embroidery and at that time I didn't have that much finance behind the business, that kind of backing. Everything now is embroidered, um, but yeah, back then it was print. Um, it's still holding up pretty well, that's almost like a couple of years old now. So yeah, it's doing all right. Um, the blanks are again quite basic, but they did the job. Yeah. Yeah. Was it? Aye, it was the World Cup was coming up, um, so I just kind of jumped on the trend. Um, it was a bit risky to be fair because I'd never done embroidery that large. Um, just smacking flags and t-shirts wasn't anything special, but I just priced them all right and I knew how to sort of market that. You can target all sorts when it comes to that kind of thing and um, just ride on the trend of the World Cup. It worked out quite well. Um, we did a France top, a Germany top and a Denmark top. We did a Denmark top because most of our customers actually came for Denmark at that time, uh, which is a wee bit weird considering we're from Glasgow. But no, I always love if people in Denmark to buy the stuff and um, it's really surprising to me that they even seen the website, never mind, order so much stuff from it, so it made sense to support them. brands that I look up to um, when I think about going larger um, is the hundreds. Um, Bobby Hundreds started that brand when he was around the same age as me. Um, he was studying law and uh, him and his partner, they managed to get their t-shirts in a few shops and they really just grew the brand organically from there. They didn't know anyone, nobody shoehorned them in. Whereas I think when you look at a lot of the brands coming out now, it's more about who you knew rather than um, your actual designs or how creative it is. Um, it's really hard for smaller brands to get off, but I think that uh, the hundreds proved that that can be done. And uh, that's why I look up to them as an almost inspiration for Collection 26. Our designs aren't similar whatsoever, but um, as a brand and how consistent they keep everything and how much they value their customers and their brand equity, um, that's something that I like to take from that and try and build uh, with Collection 26. Recently we've launched the fruit pack, um, just in anticipation for summer. Um, we bought melons, cherry, stuff like that, I'll talk you through it. Um, it was just sort of inspired by some of the stuff that Stussy had done, um, with cherries and also different sort of tropical things. Um, so I thought I like, I quite like that. I'll put my spin on it and just kind of make the tops. Um, so we get the cherry tea, um, black. Um, I felt like the cherries almost a bit of a banner fashion to be honest, but um, just went for it because it's actually not like quite cute to be honest. Um, that's really popular with girls and stuff as well, so 
That's what I'm kind of trying to do now, is just to take, them, take it beyond just guys wearing it and try get a more unisex. Um, obviously got the watermelon top that I was wearing, um, and we've got the wee orange as well. Um, really happy with how they turned out as well. Uh, you can see the details all on there. Down there, it was like a different embroidery machine we used for we change. And um, it really paid off to be honest. Sort of bringing out some shots for summer. Um, so you had the Fear of God Essentials range that they did with Paxson. Um, and that the sort of things were hanging right down there and it looked a bit stupid but obviously it was if you're cutting about Los Angeles or something but not in Glasgow. Um, so I just did something similar, made the embroidery a bit smaller um, and then pulled those up a bit so when you're wearing them you can tie them if you want even and you're not going to look stupid, do you know what I mean? I've got joggies as well now. Um, it took me ages to find joggies I was happy with, to be honest. Um, the length and then it's cuffed at the bottom so that they'll sort of stack up a bit. Um, they're kind of inspired by see the Stone Island ones you get and I just did playing with Stone Island badge. Um, I just wanted to offer people a sort of cheaper alternative because they're so comfy but nobody's buying like five or six pairs to wear about, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's the majority of the new stuff that's came out there. Um, so yeah, that's a summer sort of collection. Or whatever that is and and uh, I would visualise things. This time last year we did our first ever pop-up shop, it was just across the road. Um, the space was a lot more expensive, we had a lot more brands, but um, we had the DJ, we had food. We kind of went over the top, in my opinion, for what it could have been. We had people more just kind of coming down, hanging about. Um, and not actually spending anything, so it wasn't ideal, but it was really successful for the first pop-up shop, but I've learned a lot since then. Um, so now we focus more so on the clothing side of things. Uh, we don't do food, we don't even have speakers this time round. Like, tunes are good, but there's only so much it starts doing your head in after you've done six hours, you know what I mean? So, um, now we've taken a lot more practical view of the shop now and see it as more of an actual shop and less like an event. Today I bought this fruit tea from Collection 26. Very nice, very nice tea. I like it. Uh, so I'm Connor Miguel, and the brand is Wall Garden. The pop-ups impacted my brand by uh, just kind of networking with like-minded people and. Also, coming from here, it's kind of like opened up to the Glasgow kind of scene, I guess. Um, today's went all right. Um, I've done really well myself. We've sold some new stuff. Um, and I have got a real feel for what people want to see with a brand in the future, um, what they've appreciated about the recent drop, and also just kind of what my most popular sizes and it's good just meeting um, just meeting the people who are buying the stuff, do you know what I mean? Um, it makes a wee change rather than just getting the order in online. Um, you just get a shake of hand, um, take the cash and just actually meet them, do you know what I mean? You get a wee feel for what's happening. Um, so uh, it's been a good day. Um, in terms of the future, uh, we'll probably organise some more pop-up shops. Got a lot of free time over summer, so maybe July time, August. Do you know what I mean? Um, just got to see where it takes us and see what the other brands are up to as well. But yeah, looking forward to whatever's happening. Um, hopefully get another drop out, kind of July time. Um, we're working on some stuff, but um, sort of cartoony ideas. So um, we're a bit different for what we've got and I'm just going to have to gauge sort of the popularity of that. So far people seem quite happy about it, but um, I will just see what's happening. So yeah, um, good day overall, just need to clear it up now, do you know what I mean? Thanks.